I'm here. I'm finally going to do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pick a card. Any card. It was my three-year mission to review all these Turbo Chip games down here. Yeah. And up here. King of Casino, Jack Nicholson, Turbo Golf, Final Lad Twin, Galga 90, Splatterhouse. One thing the Turbo Graphics scene should also be known for it. It's having some killer pinball titles. Like, here's two that I already reviewed already. Alien Crush and Time Cruise. Even though Time Cruise it was <laughs> kind of an average game, so it's a bit too easy. So had great controls, lots of variety in the gameplay, and who can forget Alien's Crush. A great pinball game with excellent controls. You need targets to hit that. And now I'm going to talk about the second game in the trilogy of cool pinball games for Turbo 16 that it comes all the way from hell and hopefully it plays very swell. I'm talking about Devil Scrush here. Let's pop her in. Woo! Just like Alien Crush, but now with more new features. Here we got two player mode. Slow and fast option, and yet you can even load a previous game that you saved before, either by password or the system save data. You know, whatever you got. <laughs> yeah, look at that! The screen moves up and down this time instead of flipping from one screen to the next. Awesome new feature. Whoa. Okay, you look at the game, you're not pressed. But then you look at other games at the time, Dial In, Pinbot on the NES, Motley Crew Ball, Sega Genesis, Devil's Crush looks way fucking better. Oh yeah, there's tons of cool targets in here, but probably the coolest one of all is the chick there in the center. <laughs> yeah, look at that, we got Mariah Carey up there just, uh, <laughs> you know, looking all hot with her... <laughs> Vampire fangs and all that. I knew she had vampire fangs. Oh yeah. You like it, don't you, baby? You like getting balls hit to your face. Oh yeah. Look at that big smile. She likes it. Oh, now Mariah Carey. <laughs> she's one hot mama, but you don't want to get this girl all pissed off. Like, look at her. Ah! Went from Mariah Carey to Mariah Carey on a period. Laugh. Laugh at the insensitive joke. We can't talk about Devil's Curse without talking about some of these bonus stages here. Here we got Five-Headed Dragon. It kind of sounds like the dragon from Dragon Spirit. <laughs> the game has a nice and delicious dark atmosphere. Something that's very different from the usual pinball tables out there. That's what I like about Devil's Crush. Look at all these different enemies on screen at once. You got little soldiers running around. We got little minions up there circling that little castle. We got little spiders on the ground. Pterodactyls are flying all over the place. And plus we got the bonuses <laughs> on the screen itself. Oh crap. <laughs> There's just so much in here that would be impossible on the real pinball table. An awesome new feature about this game. Yeah, we can now save our high scores. Before an alien crush, yeah, you shot out the game, boom, it's gone forever. But here, get to input your name and everything. It's awesome. Sure, you only get the one pinball table, and that's it. But it's a huge table, at least. Feeble minds will always find something to complain about. I say if you do one thing, do it well, at least. Stop your damn bickering. Show up! The game is a lot harder than Aliens Crush because it looks like the space in between the flippers is a lot bigger. But hey, who doesn't love a good challenge? Sure, the game is a lot fucking harder than Time Cruise. Isn't that one of the seven deadly sins? Sloth. Complacency. Say grow fucking pear. Try this game out. I like the sweet pain. Just like a whip to the back. Sweet delicious.
This is torture. The fact that this game keeps you more on the edge of your seat is a huge bonus in my book. And each time I play this game, it feels like it's a different experience. I can get a lot of different bonus points for hidden certain enemies a certain way. Maybe I might get a lucky million points for some reason. I get the ability to unlock extra balls. The ball will even change color. You can get like different red, blue balls and all that. The game is just filled with tons of bonus points galore. It's fun playing later on in the game and see how many different things you can actually light up. What's a popular trend on viral videos like these? Watching someone get fucking angry. Curse at the game for being too hard. Too inferior in graphics. And isn't that what everybody wants to see in these stupid videos? Oh, this game blows. This game is horrible. I hate it with every fiber of my being. I'm sorry to break it to you, but this game is actually good. Plays well. The graphics are nice and airy. Music fits the game. Nice bit of atmosphere for what it is. You just get one fucking soundtrack, but it's good. Lots of ways to earn bonus points. So many different targets. Devil Crush. It earns a 90 out of 100. A great score. Let's face it, we're all going to die soon. Might as well play a good game. Take away from our anguish a little. Oh yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> oh man, yeah. So it was great, y'all, you know, playing these games all over again. All 94 of them. Holy crap, I did it. Yeah. It was so awesome too. I highly recommend the Turbo Rabbit 16 to any game players out there. Where, you know, you just want to collect them. You want to try with all these games out. It was cool, you know, replaying the classes again. Like Legendary Ads, Military Madness, Soldier Blade. Yeah, Superstar Soldier, Blazing Lasers, Arizona, and then it was cool playing the bad ones too because, <laughs> yeah, even though once I Deep Blue, Super Volleyball, and Gunboat, you know, were pretty awful, it's cool to play them and let you know that they suck so you don't have to fight them if you don't want to. <laughs> yeah, and this was just a cool little experiment to, you know, get everybody more knowledgeable about the Turbo Guys 16. Yeah, it's a little fun little project I recommend everybody do out there. Yeah, so Devil's Crush is awesome. Like, if you think about that name, <laughs> Nintendo even canceled one of their own IP titles called Devil's World because they're afraid, ooh, we can't have Devil in our name. People are going to get all offended by it. So they canceled it to North America, which is bullshit. Here, NEC said, screw that, we're calling it Devil's Crush. And it's going to be awesome. Oh, I don't know why religious groups get all upset about games <laughs> with devil in the title. If you think about it, you'll find the evil force is insane. So, yeah. <laughs> if you don't get this game, you're probably going to hell. <laughs> Alright, this game it might possess you by the devil like it did in my review, but hey, whatever. Try it out, because it's fun. <laughs> There's a... You know, every great people out there like Spire Trigger, Artillery Leaf, Spider 1 8, that do topographic reviews and look throughs and collection stuff. And yeah, I recommend you check them out too because <laughs> some of them have better quality videos than me. Alright, so this is it, baby. If you have a question about any of these topographic card games, be sure to check out my playlist. Leave a comment or something. Let me know which one is your favorite topographic sitting game, which one is your least favorite, and comment and all that. So this is Star Soldier, over and out. Okay, so review's over. Anybody want to play some Crazy 8s? <laughs>